Things That Will Burn in Hell, number 78, Modern Art. Cue the theme song. From Loitering in Wonderland Studios. <laughs> With Phoenix West. Welcome back from the theme song. I'm Phoenix West. This is Things That Will Burn in Hell. Today's episode is clearly modern art because I said it before the theme song. But now that you're back from the theme song, let's talk about the show. Modern art. It's modern, I guess, but it's sure as shit not art. Things That Will Burn in Hell, number 78. Modern art. Part metal. Heart fun, all waste of space. Tired of having no talent? Ever wish you could get paid to paint or sculpt, but have no time or energy to learn how to do it well? Say fuck it and just become a modern artist. The word modern in the term modern art might as well mean the death of. So to say that modern art is the death of art. Modern art is the knife in the chest of everything creative or genius that artistic endeavors were or could be. Art used to say something about the world. Nowadays you can just piss in a jar and sell it at an auction for 20 grand, or just sign a shovel that you bought at the Home Depot and sell it for a few thousand dollars, both of which previous circumstances actually happened. Have a finger, some paint, and a canvas? Well then, sir or ma'am, you can create yourself some art for McDonald's or any other fast food walls. All you have to do is dip your finger in the paint and make circles or squares with no particular meaning or plan like you were in the first fucking grade. This took all of 20 minutes to make this... Art. It looks like they just glued pieces of fruit roll up on a sheet of construction paper. Or you can just make things into random meaningless shapes. Then you can sell it to families with children so they can hurt themselves on it because you made an artistic jagged piece of metal. Drugs plus weird hair does not equal art. Bullshit artist Andy Warhol. Not art. If this is modern art, then so is this. Now that you are back from the book part, welcome to the post book part where I rant about modern art part. Kind of rhyme there, but here we go. So modern art, I just don't understand. I think it's people who have zero talent, unless you make it one of those cool 3D things where it's a lot of like thinking and like, uh, you know, a lot, uh, really a lot of planning. But when you're just gluing shit to other shit in a shapeless form and you just go, yes, my masterpiece is finished. I'm gonna assume I put a picture right here of some shitty jagged, jagged modern art. So my masterpiece is finished, yes. It's the devil's anus because it belongs in hell. Yes, I think it is. We got a girl over here like, oh, it's delightful. I want to put it in my, my gallery. Yes, it's, it's quite exquisite, this devil's anus you've crafted. Thank you, Susan. Thank you. I just say I love modern arts and I love the fact that I dropped out of uh, community college to do this with my life. And uh, I love the fact that I've been freeloading off my parents for 22 years and I'm just... Oh, it's paid off with my masterpiece of Devil's Anus. Oh, I couldn't agree more, <laughs> David. Yes, this is de it's delightful. You really captured how red that anus is. Oh, it, it's so puckered. Oh, ho, ho, ho. so puckered. I've seen other Devil's Anuses. None half as puckered as this one. Yes. I'll give you 40 million. It's fucking stupid. I... I uh, okay, so I mentioned in the, in the book part, I believe. I haven't read this in, I don't know, eight months, ten months, something like that that, uh, you know, people would sign a Home Depot shovel and sell it as modern art. And you really got to focus on your, I don't want to say the word art, but your career path. When someone can do that, how would that not undermine your, your artistic creation or artistic expression or entire business model as a whole? How would it not be completely undermined by that? It's like if someone made like a weird snuff film and it went to the box office and, and just blew Avatar out of the water. At some point, you're like, why are we doing this? Like, what? why bother putting this much production into it? It's not even worth it. I could just kill that girl on camera for real and just... Apparently, that's all we needed to do. I'm not going to animate these fucking blue smurf-like weird creatures. The giraffe creatures, whatever the fuck they are. I'm not going to do that. I only call them giraffes because they're like seven feet tall. But why bother? Let's just kill that girl. I mean, I killed her. I killed one last week. We just didn't film it. Fuck, we, we missed an opportunity there. But you know what? Plenty of runaways in Los Angeles. Let's just go grab a fucking crate full of them. Let's just go and just come up with creative ways to kill them. Like a, like a weird slasher movie from the 80s. It's all about creative kills. We'll come up with something. But at some point, you got to go, how much does this mean to me when I don't know what it means? 
And I think I showed my McDonald's wall art in that, which I literally saw at McDonald's growing up and in high school. Where it was looked like a little fruit roll up, like someone balled up fruit roll ups and art. I'm an artist. Uh, I'm Andy Warhol. Oh man, because he's a great artist. Paint soup cans and Marilyn Monroe and other pieces of work that for some reason are considered great and valuable. I don't get it. You could argue that Andy Warhol had an interesting mind and he's part of a cultural revolution in the pop art scene. I get that part. I really do. Not debating that, but he's a really shitty fucking artist. He had nothing to say, nothing to do. And that's it. You should shoot him again if you could. I debated doing this whole episode, uh, downtown Phoenix and going around to the modern art they have down there because they do have some downtown. But then I went, why bother? I don't want to look at it. I don't want to... In my tabloid episode, my tabloid magazine episode, I said, that's like funding that behavior. I don't want to go look at that shit because I don't want to risk the chance of that artist driving by and going, ah, he's, he's observing. He's even filming it. He wants to shoot his video in front of my statue that looks like nothing. A bunch of jagged red shit. It means nothing. I like the Chicago bean. The little reflective bean. That's about it. That's like a tourist attraction. Some of them, you, every once in a while you get some cool art like that. When it's a big fucking piece in the middle of a city, it kind of adds to the city. When you're showing it in a gallery, and I'm like, that looks like shit. It's supposed to go in my fucking house. Oh, yes, it's supposed to go in a gallery in your home. Yes, everyone has a gallery in their home. Yes. And I don't want to do that shit because why? I don't want that shit. I don't want to look at it here. Why would I look at it at home every single day? It reminds me of like the, the art, the, the, the furniture from Beetlejuice. That's not fucking modern art. It's not. I'm sorry. I know Tim Burton, you made the fucking furniture. Great furniture, I'm sure. But holy shit, I don't want to look at it. I don't want it in my fucking house, that's for sure. I don't want a painting on my wall that looks like just uh, Jackson Pollock, just fucking, just like a million Jackson Pollock bukkakis on it. And just that, that's a painting. Yep. <sighs> I'm nude, so therefore it's art. You know, or the girl in Big Lebowski, Julianne Moore's character is like... <laughs> when she's nude. I don't want to, I don't want that in my fucking house. It looks terrible. Getting angry. Go to LIWstudios.com. Check out the videos. Check out the podcast. YouTube.com slash loitering in land. Loitering in land at gmail.com. Patreon.com slash loitering in land studios. It's in the show notes. If I went too fast, I understand. We'd like to thank our Patreon subscriber, the Indie Sports Car Podcast. Go there, check them out, and they're a good show if you're into indie sports car driving or watching it or anything about it. Anyway, I guess my point is, until next time, and in the meantime, I'll be in hell. My name is Phoenix West. I'm doing things out of order for some reason. But I'll see you in hell. There we go. I'm back on track. Where there's plenty of, like, hell sculptures and, like, just, you know, uh, you know, like, we got... I must. I keep wanting to say Hitchcock instead of Hitler. Why? Why is my brain broken right there? I was doing just fine, frozen the name Hitler for some reason, and, and went to Hitchcock. I was going to say something about there's a statue of Hitler getting raped by someone. Maybe Hitchcock in this situation. I don't know. But now I'm just, I'm just angry I fucked it up because I really am getting angry about modern art. It's fucking stupid. It pisses me off and I will not have any part of it. Go fuck yourself. Nope, nope, not worth it.